we need a new Nigeria. A Nigeria where those of us, people who we are son of nobody, will be great, live well, have a job, earn a living. That's all we want. The move for the liberation of Nigeria has begun in earnest. And uh, this can be seen from the meeting between the two great political gladiators in the 2023 presidential election. Talking about His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi and the former Vice President Al Haji Atiku Abubakar. <laughs> We have been talking about the journey of His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi the last uh, in some of our videos in the past, and uh, that of Atikul Abubakar as well. And we have seen since Atikul Abubakar returned back into the country after the fasting in March, where Peter Obi was penetrating the north, left, right, and center. He haven't decided to leave the country yet. It looks like there is a lot of permutation going on right now ahead of 2027, that is three years from today. And the speculation right now, after the meeting today, where His Excellency Mr. Peter Ubi met with the former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamido, and then later on met with Atiku Abubakar in their private residence here in Abuja suggest to so many that there could be a alliance and realliance from the both parties since Newsom Wiki of PDP who is currently the FCT minister under APC government has totally destroyed the structures in PDP of which as it stands right now PDP is not like a political party that can be recognized in 2027 anymore. As for that, nobody knows if there is going to be some kind of a movement from some, some big wings movement or some stepping down, of which Nigerians will not support any movement of a P2B stepping down for Article, which is very obvious. Because when you look at the fan base and you look at the number of people queuing up for Peter Obi of Labour Party, is more compared to um, Atiku Abubakar. And Atiku Abubakar's age is no longer on his side. So therefore, he may be stepping down for his uh, vice presidential candidate during the 2019 general election against Muhammad Buhari. Would have been the best thing to do ahead of 2027. Knowing fully where the kind and caliber of person Alahaji Bola Ahmed Tinebu, who happens to be the current president of Nigeria, is, which will not be easy to defeat. I haven't seen how he was able to snatch, grab, and run with it during the presidential election in 2023 when he was not even the president. So imagine him now as the president of the country. He has all the security to his pocket, he has everything to his pocket, he can do anything he chooses to do, that is, if you want to do anything illegal, of which I believe that he will not do such thing. But however, from this meeting today and several meetings that Peter Obia has been having and his movement to the northern part of the country, it showcases that there is something, some, some stuff cooking right now of which Nigerians may not see it forthcoming a year to 2027. Do you believe that Atikula Bubaka will eventually step down for Peter Obi, who has the blessing of the masses for 2027 election? In my opinion, oh yes. What is yours? Let's have the conversation in the comment section. Thank you for watching.